cut. I don't think I read it wrong when he says I did. We'll see. the Hollywood Hills. Here it is. It's all what it's cracked up to be. Remember that. It is pretty cool. Yeah, it's alright. I like it. We asked you guys on our Instagram page to submit some questions and uh, we got some good ones. Let's do this. Okay, our first question for our Q&A from PositivelyIzzy.yt is, what was your reaction when you hit 1,000 subs? I think mine was, holy crap, this is kind of really happening. Like we have, I think it just made us feel, or made me feel like we have Validated. an official YouTube channel. Cause I mean like you can start one and it's official, but like once you hit a thousand, it's like you're kind of in the game. We're like wow, people are watching this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Especially because we started our channel just in February, which was like nine months, nine months ago. <laughs> But when we hit a thousand, we had only had it for like seven. So it's kind of crazy, but we just thank you for that, for you guys, you guys that are watching. You are the best. Um, I'm probably gonna screw up a lot of these usernames, so I'm sorry. Teru3394. This is a very simple question, but I think it's an awesome question. Are you happy? I'm happy, like in general. Like in general, yeah, yeah, super happy. Yeah, I have no complaints. Yeah, I mean, me we live in an awesome area. We. We have each other. We have each other. We have cool dogs. Yeah, they are pretty awesome. Um, we have an awesome YouTube channel. We have an awesome YouTube channel. I love my work and my students. They're all Same. cool. Same. I love what I do. So and yeah. And I just had a hamburger at... Where Shake Shack. It? Shake Shack. And so it was so good. I'm, Thanks Cass for that referral by the way. I'm content and I'm happy. Good question. Four people asked us the same question, so we're just gonna shout you guys all out. E true underscore Vincent. Oh god. Talal Mag4347. Jana dot for real. LOL. I don't know, I'm sorry, I'm gonna put it down below. Atomic Dab. They all ask how did we meet? Well I think we've answered this before, but we'll answer it again because it's not a big deal. But yeah. We met at Starbucks. I, I just went to Starbucks to uh, get my usual cup of coffee, and this little gem just trotted in with uh, <laughs> pink Lululemon pants. I thought they were cute. They're like yoga pants. Yeah. And I thought she had a nice butt, you know, so I was like, well, you know, good cup of coffee and a cute girl. So I just went up to her, introduced myself, and then the rest is kind of history. We just kind of been hanging out ever since. It's true. Blondie Crystal One. Good name. Where is your favorite place to go traveling? I'd have to say, just because we just went, Hawaii is by far the best place I've ever been. Hawaii is cool. Like, the water is so warm. It's like warmer than a swimming pool. And then you go to the other side of the island that's not touristy, just like the local parts. And the mountains are unreal. Like, they look fake. It's literally Jurassic Park. Like yeah. that's where they filmed it. Um, my other choice, even though I'm from Utah originally, I think Bryce Canyon and like Zions Canyon and all that, like the national park places are incredible. Like it's like a whole nother planet. So I like that. Um, I would say my other favorite place was uh, London. Amazing. I need to go back there because I was only there for a very short period of time and it was such a tease go back. I'll go with you. Alright, sounds good. Okay, Eric Stocklin underscore fandom asks, tell us about how you both met Eric Stocklin. How was he in real life and from what TV show do you know him? Ah. He was really, really awesome. Um, it was very like low-key and like kind of in passing. So basically, we kind of had a couple people say that she looks kind of like Miranda Singh, so we started... Well, Colleen. Or Colleen, yeah, yeah, and we started uh, kind of looking into it, and she has a Netflix series called Haters Back Off, and we literally just finished watching it. The night before. The night before, yeah. which is cool, 
And that's how I like knew who Eric was after that. And uh, we were just grocery shopping. And you bumped into him. Yeah, you? like him and I just kind of hit shoulders, and then I kind of looked at him, <laughs> and then I was like, wait, he looks so familiar. And then I, I didn't like, even see him, which sucks. Yeah, and then I was like, wait, hey, that's. And then I got Crystal, and I was like, hey, that's uh, the guy from Haters Back Off, and she's like, oh yeah, that's Eric, and so. I freaked out a little bit because I also know him from Stalker. Yeah, I haven't seen Stalker, but it was kind of cool to like. Just have seen him. Yeah, in just the show. watch the show and then just run into him. And uh, super humble guy. Yeah, he's super cool. We really stopped cool. and talked to him for a second and uh, took got, a picture. Got a picture with him and. Which is right here. He's very cool. He's very cool. Yeah, really cool guy. Mm -hmm. So if you're a fan of him, good choice. Okay. Shayla underscore two underscore 14 asks, is there any other YouTuber you haven't met that you would like to? Um, now that I've been compared to Colleen so much, um, I'm kind of excited to meet her. I haven't met her yet, but we're going to her show in Las Vegas, and uh, we have VIP passes to that. So I'm kind of excited to meet her. Um, and one time when I was at LAX, Grace Helbig was there, and I'm kind of a fan of her stuff. I think she's really funny. Um, and all my students are like super huge on YouTube, so they know all these cool people. And one of my students, her name's Lily, simply Lily Grace, uh, was like, "Oh my God, Grace Helbig's on her flight." And I was like, "Who?" <laughs> I honestly didn't know, but now I kind of hate it because I know who she is. But I wish I would have known back then because I would have gotten a photo with her. I think mine would probably be exploring with Josh. Um, I love to explore places like he does. I love to go to abandoned places and just kind of see what nature has done to the place, but also I like the haunting experience of it. And he's also used a couple of my band's uh, songs on his channel, uh, my band Saunders Saloon. And uh, it, it's just, it would just be cool to like meet the guy and actually go on a uh, fun little ex like exploring adventure with him in some crazy abandoned place. That would totally be something you would love to do. I would love it. Yeah. Mick Bailey 15 asks, what's the best and worst part of being a YouTuber? Um, the best part's just kind of like sharing our lives. Yeah. Um, that's kind of cool. And um, we actually, it makes us like go out and try new things and yeah. like try new things. I mean, we would do it anyway, but I feel like it gives us like a little extra nudge to go do it. The cons, I don't really see anything other than like when I get frustrated and like, something technically happens when I'm like editing a video yeah. but like it's really not a big deal it doesn't happen that often yeah I mean yeah pros for me like it's just fun you know it's cool cuz like not only do you guys get to see our lives but like we can always look back on our own lives yeah. like in the future that's a good one um, and it's just it's just fun like it's just a whole another side of like the internet that we didn't really know about mm -hmm. and then um, cons for me is like when we're about to film and we didn't like charge our battery the night before and our battery's about to die that or like sucks. while we're filming on our phones or something our battery dies but nothing major yeah it's there's really no cons to it no cons at all chuggy.0228 that's a cute nickname username not nickname chuggy username yeah um what was the best moment you guys have had together love that question because that's going to make me think for one second I can't say just one. I think that we have a lot of awesome moments. Like Hawaii is like something that stands out a lot for me in my mind. Um, super cheesy, but probably like the first day we met because it like led to everything. Um, meeting his family last year was super awesome for me. Um, there's just tons of moments because I feel like every time something big happens, it's like I'm always doing it with him, and it makes it super special. It makes it that much cooler than it would have been if he wasn't here. So I think there's probably just tons of moments that happen all the time, but uh, I yeah. can't name just one. I think for me it's uh, it's not just one moment, it, it's a lot as well, you know, it's like, it's really cool to uh, have somebody that wants to go out and explore as much as I do, because I've always loved to just go for drives or go to new places and just see things and she's always down to go do whatever. It was fun when we were in Hawaii. She, I finally got her out in the water. She didn't want to get her hair wet, and right when she told me that, I dunked her under, dunked her under a wave. Yeah, that was mean. It was fun to watch her like squill, and <laughs> kind of get mad. You All did. guys should be doing that stuff.
stuff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Raul Adrian Sandoval asks, where was the place y'all kissed? And I feel like if he has no shame to ask it, then I have no shame to answer it. So... The question is, where haven't we kissed? <laughs> um, uh, that day, the same day that we met at Starbucks, when we were walking back to our cars and she was about to get in her car, I just kissed her. No shame. First, first kiss is a Starbucks parking lot. <laughs> Super romantic. Um, okay. Brody812U asks, can you guys do any type of 100 layer challenge? I've seen a ton of those and those look miserable. I have no idea what that is. So it's like you could put like 100 layers of lip gloss on or 100 layers of nail polish on or 100 layers of clothing, I guess. I'd probably try it. I just don't know what I would do. I'm always down for a challenge. Bring it on. I'll put the hundred layers of whatever on Crystal, it'll be fun. Let's do it! It's not fair. And our final question from Riley underscore Rudder12 asks, How long have you guys been together? We've known each other a little over a year, but our official one year of us being together is... In December. Up in December, and uh, it, it took me a while to commit, you know. It I wasn't to, that bad. I had to make sure she was cool. Before, I'm all right. before I went officially in there. And she's pretty cool, so we made it official in December last year. So yeah. Alright, well, that was like our third question Q and A. Q and A. So you guys should know a lot about us. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure we could do one in the future if there's anything else that you'd like to know. I'm an open book, I'm not very sane. Yeah, so. we literally are the exact same on and off the camera. The exact, exact same. same. It's, it's pretty crazy. <laughs> we want to say hey and thank you if you're ever around. Yep. If you're out there. <laughs> if you're not, that's okay. <laughs> but just throwing it out there. If you yep. see us wandering around the grove, because we're there literally a few times a week. We're there and uh, yeah, just come up to us. Say we're hey, friendly. what's up? We're literally exactly how we are on the channel. So. Yep. We're not too cool. Not at all. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe and comment below anything else you'd like to see us do. Until next time, see you later. Bye. Bye.